Uh, all right, well, we're back from Chet's. We're back from Glamis. Uh, things have already gone awry in the shop. Some things have gone well. Uh, Mike Reed basically spent a lot of time in here cleaning and organizing the whole shop. Yeah, so look at that. Just start on a high point. If you don't have friends like Mike Reed, you better go find yourself one because this dude friggin' rips. Yeah, get yourself a Mike Reed. So, okay, that's a good thing. From there, things have taken a slight uh, downward spiral. <laughs> so, yeah, Frankie's been uh, guarding the Turbo Talon for a while. Just taking care of it, man. Taking good care of it. it. Maybe he blew it up undetermined. Okay. That, that's here nor there. That's, we're not worried about that. Yeah, but then this happened on his way in. Let's just let's just go look. Uh, okay, yep. So you guys know Shakira, uh, his wonderful trailer. We'll just start with the truck. Dooley, dude. Good truck. Clean truck. Can't go wrong with a Dooley. Dooley, Duramax. Okay, this side looks great. You walk over to this side over here. Front still looks pretty good. As we work towards the back, things get worse. Oh. Ooh. And then if you, have you seen this yet, Rick? Oh yeah. And then if you <laughs> look here, center line is no longer the center line. This axle's not where it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, so why don't you tell us what happened yeah. this morning? Yeah, a little, little foul play. <laughs> so I'm yeah. just le leisurely driving into work. <laughs> leisurely. I believe him. You know, 20 mile an hour. And the, uh, some chick decided she was going to try and get out in front of me, started spinning, and in a Jeep Wrangler with 35s on it nonetheless, so yep. can't blame her for that, but ended up going under my duels, truck come up on three wheels, I thought I was rolling. Wow. And, uh... Hit the truck. Hit the truck. And... And... Bam. The trailer, yeah. Trailer. Ouch. Ooh. Ouch. 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 Yeah. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Shakira. She'll leave in bad shape. She'll be all right. Trailer. She'll, she'll come girl. back. Definitely <laughs> done. The trailer, I don't know. That's probably not. Might have been the back. last leg for the trailer. It's been fixed quite a few times, but this might be the last. Did one. the roof blow off on the way to Winoka? No, it didn't. <laughs> okay, well, it's got that going for it. <laughs> so. The point of all this is though the turbo talon is in the in the trailer do we know what condition that is in at this point i have not opened the door <laughs> oh, okay all right well this will be a nice little reveal here uh, and so also too there's a potential that the turbo talon is blown up i see a tire it's still in there oh yeah oh yeah we're good looks fine yeah. it blew the straps right off it <laughs> <laughs> wow they vaporized yeah that was hard <laughs> that was crazy but anyway um there's a theory that it's blown up matt i feel like you and i are on the edge of saying there's zero chances blown up rick where are you yeah. i've done some stuff to this machine i'm talking stuff yeah and it's just kept asking for more but we have the f factor here the frankie that, factor dude that's uh that's a desperado that's done some stuff himself in a short amount of time. To abuse some of our machines like no other. <laughs> We've tried to break these machines. We've tried, okay? Couldn't do it. Give him the keys for seemingly hardly any time. Minutes. Sector's dead, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Doug, do you think it's blown up? Man, I, you know, everything about the Talon makes me want to say, no, it's not blown up. But when I, you know, run through the series of events, it's been completely underwater. The engine's been completely filled with water. The intake's come off and it's been raced. It's been glowing red hot. So many bad things have happened to it. I'm going to say there's a 47% chance it's blown up. So 53%, so the majority says it ain't blown up. Yeah, slight okay. majority. Yeah. Slight. All right, Frankie, we can look at one spot and quickly determine whether or not it's blown up. Matt, do you want to show the people that spot? Let's see here. Oh no, it's not looking good. <laughs> oh, the intake is still firmly on. So That was our theory that the intake blew off. That's what happened when Axel Hodges had it at the uh, Baja Brawl race. And it really sounds like it's blown up when that happens. Yes. Yeah, and it runs on one cylinder, sometimes no cylinders. Uh, so I put new boots on it before Frankie took it and glued them in so it wouldn't pop out again. Well, hey, and maybe there's a charge tube somewhere else that blew off. We still have that possibility. There maybe. Is. Anyway, let's uh, let's tow it in. Yep. Um, 
Wait, what the hell is that? Look at the axles growing hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's got more hair than I do. <laughs> it hangs up with Frankie for a little bit. It just fills in. It it just <laughs> You've been feeding this thing Coors Light, dude? Frick. Well, Doug's Towing and Recovery Services has kindly lent us their Outlander XMR for the job. There we go, yeah. Built-in tow point, yeah. dude. So you guys want to properly hook up my winch. Yeah, right through those little holes in the skid plate. <laughs> yeah. The ZRP radius rod's probably super strong. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're good now. I'm getting the hell out of here. Maybe pull on the back of that sucker. We got it, we got it. No, that trailer's junk. Just pull right through that. <laughs> Come on, Doug, pull her through. Give her a little bump, dude. Give it a big bump. Hold your neck, Frankie. Frankie. Got it. We're good. Anyway, so Matt, where do you think you want to start with the diagnostic on this beast? Roll it over. Yeah. Just crank it. See All right. what happens. We'll see what happens. Give her a go. All right. Yeah. Sounds a little funny. Yeah. It's over. Talent. I mean, it ain't good, but. I think she just needs plugs. Yeah, we'll pull a plug in. Wouldn't mind looking at this. Uh, charge tubes are all in, it looks like. The plugs, no. Yeah, it's that's the back all one good. that's out. Oh. This is a little loose here. Well, that's normal, I guess, right? Or no? Yeah, you hear it. Is that normal? Yeah, that should be able to move. Oh, that's good, though. Yeah, it's definitely the rear cylinder that's not firing, judging by the heat in the exhaust, so. Okay. We'll look at that plug first. Well, Matt's getting the plug out up here. Yeah, I'm curious. You know, these things are typically bulletproof, but Gordon to Frankie says, what, the top of the pistons break off? Uh, that's from what I've been reading up on. When you turbo them, there have been cases where the top of the piston breaks off, and this kind of sounds just like this. Oh, got it. Okay, well. <laughs> that is a fouled plug. It smells like gas. Compression tester. This is the first end all be all tool for something like this yeah you know this only tells you so much but if the needle goes up maybe there's hope if the needle doesn't move then you're basically screwed our day here is done so. <laughs> frankie yeah Let's you Let's see what yeah happens. here we go boys oh no oh. oh that seems unlikely that it's not even moving at all i mean because yeah, i hear like can hear a little bit of compression. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do a finger test. All right, give it another crank. That's what you call no bueno. <laughs> oh, no. no bueno. Like it's dead dead. There is nothing happening in that cylinder. Nothing. Well, a couple things could have happened. Probably didn't break a rod, because we would have heard that, I would think. 
Yeah, that would have made a big old mess. Well, <clears throat> we got this Milwaukee boroscope that's a little bit too big for the plug holes, but should be able to see something. Yeah. Let's see, let's see my face. Look at that's Matthew right there. This will be fun. <laughs> Yep, you're right. That's about as far That's as okay. Goes. Hold it right there. Let's crank it over and see if that piston <laughs> even moves. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, hold on. moving. We're good. Okay, there right go, there. there right go. there. Good. Just give her a little bump. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Keep going. The piston is moving. The piston is moving. It just seems so unlikely to me that there's zero compression. But if your finger didn't feel it. If the piston's broken. Yeah. You know? Like it must be broken. Big, big league. Yeah, like broken half, but <laughs> we can only see the half that's moving. We can see a good bit of the piston. It's not totally exploded. It's going up and down and not making any compression whatsoever. What has happened in there? There's multiple possibilities. I feel like I need to know. Yeah, not I mean, quite satisfied at this point. Could the issues have started when Rick Hydro locked it at Silver Lake in 2020? Yeah, possibly. Could the issues have started when the intake boots popped off and the motor was melted to basically the temperature of lava? Yeah. It was very, very lean. Potentially. Point, yes. <laughs> Is it the turbo? Probably not. Honestly, it's pretty low boost. These engines are tough. I don't necessarily think that's the huge problem here. Most things that happen here are our fault. Yeah. <laughs> Probably he's in that bucket as well. A few moments later. <laughs> Well, decisions have been made, things have been talked about. Uh, this is basically the worst chassis ever to do a motor swap into. Could we build the motor? There's a lot of things, Doug, just Yeah, we'll in. see. We just talked about a lot in a very short period of time. And essentially the foundation of what we're questioning is, you know, how damaged are the cylinders? Okay, normally not a big deal, except on this thing, the cylinders are integrated into the engine case, which is also the transmission case. So this entire thing, like that's your cylinder right there. And this is all it's not one piece, it splits right here. But if the cylinders are damaged, you know, beyond any sort of reasonable repair, like a small overboard, overbore, you have to replace the entire engine case. So we start to go down that path and start to wonder, is there just something better to put in this? I, you know, I don't know, but we got to know. So it looks pretty easy to get the cylinder head off just in the chassis without a ton of work. So I'm going to tear some stuff off it, yank the cylinder head off just right in the car so we can, uh, you know, see how damaged it really is. And then we'll make a plan. Turbo. How's the little turbo? Sucker's clean, dude. This is baby. Well, we're about to figure out what's going on. Head bolts are coming out. Do go. This Boy. The moment. I am nervous. Here we go. How bad is it? Uh, what? Hmm. Okay. What? Interesting. Oh, wait. This is the head gasket? Did we oh, torch wait. the head? I see something interesting. Potentially. Oh. Looking at the top. Look at how tall that valve is, and that valve, and that one. Oh, my gosh. And look at how short that one is. Let's just see what it looks like under there. Sucker, stop. Ooh. Bop, bop, bop. That didn't sound good. Okay, so that would explain why there was, I mean, yeah, we just, whoa, what is that, Frankie? Um, yeah, the rest of the, the valve. So the valve broke. Valve broke. So, oh, yeah, we don't need the light, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the valve broke. I, I have it on a manual exposure, so you just looked like a solar flare. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. so the valve broke and then uh, subsequently bent when the piston gave it a little kiss, a little not too much of a kiss though didn't kiss very no. hard you can't even see, well actually you can see it a little bit on the piston that's what that mark is right there the piston looks fine man if the piston's okay this is actually a pretty easy fix yes. i mean yeah now suddenly we gotta, <laughs> we gotta inspect this a little closer but uh yeah potentially we can just fix the cylinder head and bolt this thing back together and that makes me feel so much better keep on trucking because i knew that that made no sense why there was no compression. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why did none of us think of valves? What was going on? It just didn't seem like that was a possibility. Yeah, it's not what I would have expected. Uh, uh, wow, okay, well, man, not a big deal. With it stuck in there, that means it probably screwed up the seat and that probably screwed up the, you know, obviously the valves broke, but. Yeah, there's potential valve guide, you know, issues, but that, all that's repairable, all that's repairable, so. We just need a single valve, boys. Not a big deal, Frankie. Cool. 
<laughs> Which still, means also not his fault. Still your fault. <laughs> oh, shoot. Fault. Clarify. Sure. <laughs> Definitely. Can we quickly clean up the piston to make sure we didn't crack it? Because yeah. if the side of that piston's cracked, the whole excitement is just gone. Yeah. Yeah, you can sort of see where the valve touched it, but I bet it just touched it only once. Kind of put it back in place and then said, hey, you stay up there. Yeah, it couldn't have hit hard because the valve doesn't appear to be bent. Yeah. I told you I was just idling. Billy Idol himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was just driving down the trail. Just and along. Piston um, looks fine, dude. Good. Good, good, good. Man, okay. All right. I guess Excellent news. Yeah. Tear the, uh, finish tearing the head apart and see, you know, what kind of damage is there, but got a path to bring the old turbo talon back pretty easily. Well, that's good. Nice. All right, another quick little update here. So uh, Matt said, hey, let's just roll the engine over, look at the cylinder. Okay, so we did that. Cylinder looks, see if we can focus. Cylinder's absolutely fine. We cleaned up to the top of the piston, absolutely fine. No cracks in it. However, interesting thing we found right here. So when we pulled the head gasket off, she was blown, literally blew to pieces. And you can see here, if I can get my finger in the right place, how it bulged the uh, bottom layer of that gasket all the way around until it got to a relief port on both sides. So pretty wild. We didn't see more evidence of that in the way it was running. I would bet that that happened during the uh, Baja Brawl race when Axel Hodges raced this thing and it went super lean, got super duper hot. And uh, yeah, started blowing that gasket. So good thing we took it apart anyways. Yeah, that's not uh, how it's supposed to be. That should be <laughs> down here like that. Pressure relief so gasket, one man. one layer actually broke away where the cooling jacket is. Yeah, I've never seen one blow like that before. That's pretty wild. Yeah. So hey, new head gasket, fix the head. Uh, maybe we can come up with some head studs to put a little bit more clamp on this thing when we turn the boost up just a little bit. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, another quick little update here. We pulled this valve out and it looks about as expected. <laughs> not good. And also not surprisingly, let's see if we can see this. It did, oh, this lighting's tough. I'm trying. There, oh, there it was for a split second. Right there, you can see it did crack the valve guide. So that's junk too. Um, not a huge deal. You can replace the valve guides in these, put a new valve guide in, but then you get into having to do a valve job on it. Once you've pressed the new guide in, the center is not going to be exactly right, so you got to go in and recut the seat. Um, again, not a big deal, but timing's kind of a thing. Machine shops are backed up right now. Maybe we can call in a favor and get it done quickly. Maybe not, so I might just uh, look around and see if there's a used cylinder head that's good available nearby so we can get this thing back together quickly. But in any case, there's uh, multiple solutions here, so we'll get her figured out. Four to six days later. Well, things have escalated here. That's a whole nother video. Doug, <laughs> the Talon, what's going on with the Talon? As they always do. So uh, yeah, currently Talon head is shipped out. Uh, we got it out to Hess Motorsports, big Talon guys over there. Uh, they're gonna take care of it for us, get that new guide pushed in, get some new valves, get some new components, do a valve job on it. You know, we know those guys work with those particular machines all the time. So, you know, rather than take it to a local shop who probably hasn't seen a Honda Talon head before, just send it to the experts. So. Once that sucker comes back, we got all the rest of the parts on hand, slam it back together, and uh, she will rip again. We got uh, little upgrades coming, some head studs, maybe figure out how to make it a, make a little more boost. Oh my gosh, and, uh, I think it is. Oh, 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 big dog, big dog. Mike, we were filming, all right. Uh, yeah, so it will live again soon. The Talon will be back. So we'll keep you guys posted. When parts get here, we'll show you. So thanks for doing everything you guys do, as always, to support us. You know, whole fleet of machines around here, seemingly constantly broken, and uh, we'd never be able to afford to continuously repair them <laughs> after we let Frankie drive them if it wasn't oh, for you guys. And me, <laughs> the next video is carnage. So yeah, seriously though, thank you guys if you're supporting the channel by watching, subscribing, buying the parts on the parts site, buying the merch. Buying the, uh, all the stuff you guys buy. Man, I lost track. <laughs> Buying through the Rocky Mountains, like <laughs> donating on Patreon. Just thank you guys so much. Appreciate you big time. And uh, yeah, we'll see you back here in a couple days with some more ridiculous happenings. It was bad. It it's was bad. bad. It's bad. Next video is good, but bad. Here's a preview of what happened. Poor thing. <laughs>